Welcome to the demo of AutoCast Works. AutoCast Works is the first software offering the metal casting simulation functionalities in SolidWorks platform. It allows simulation and optimization of methoding designs. AutoCast Works helps to achieve the desired casting quality at the highest possible yield in the shortest time. Therefore, it reduces the rejection rate and shop floor trials. AutoCast Works, a model-driven methods design approach helps the user to save the time and improve the quality and yield of the casting while developing a new casting. The user can perform the specific task by using toolbar. Also, with the help of the menu bar of the AutoCast Works. The layout creation is first step in AutoCast Works. The user can create the layout for the AsCast part. In this AsCast part layout, the user can analyze the hotspots and quick solidification temperature results. These are the pre-simulation functions which will help the user for locating the feeders and feed aids. Hotspots, it is the last solidifying region in the casting. In AutoCast Works, we can predict the hotspot locations within a few seconds. Ideally, feeders should be located closer to major hotspots. Minor hotspots can be eliminated by placing a chill nearby. Casting solidification is a quick solidification analysis based on hotspots. It shows the thermal isolation regions. It also helps in determining feeder locations. The user can create the multiple casting layouts in a single file by using the configuration manager. It allows to create families of methoding elements with different dimensions, shapes, and properties for the same casting. This methoding layout is designed in SolidWorks. The user can import these layouts in the AutoCast Works. It helps to compare the quality and yield of the casting. Hence, it is very useful for the user to select a layout that gives better quality and higher yield. Once configuration is selected, a layout with configuration name will be added to AutoCast Works tree. In AutoCast Works, it is important to identify the different methoding elements like casting, feeders, cores, sleeves, chills, and gating channels once the layout is created. This helps in assigning the materials of the individual element. The layout will have colored method elements bodies as per the type of element. The layout tree will have different manager nodes, like Mold Manager, Feeder Manager, Feed Aid Manager and Gate Manager depending on identified methoding elements. AutoCast Works supports comprehensive range of ferrous and non-ferrous materials, their composition and properties are as per the BIS standard along with customization. Here are some important thermophysical properties. These are used for the simulation. The user can change these properties, if required. AutoCast Works supports the wide range of mold materials as well. These are the properties of the mold material. The user is allowed to modify these properties, if required. In AutoCast Works, the user can select the desired core material for cavity core as well as external core bodies. Feed aids are used when progressive directional solidification cannot be achieved by feeder alone or to increase the yield of the casting. AutoCast Works supports both exothermic as well as insulating material for sleeve. Exothermic sleeves retain the heat for a longer time. It is effectively increasing the thermal modulus and thereby solidification time. Chill, it increases the local rate of heat transfer and reduces the local solidification time. It is useful for eliminating microporosity. The user can get the information about the active feature by using a help function of the property manager. This helps in navigating other sections and features also. The user can choose the mold box size as per the availability in the shop floor. To specify the pouring point for metal entry into the cavity, it is important to align the sprue or pouring feeder surface to mold top face. The user can identify the hotspot locations in the methoding layouts as well. Here we can see that the feeders are showing their impact on hotspots. The hotspot analysis shows the shrinkage prone locations based on modulus values. 
The quick solidification temperature analysis helps in verifying and optimizing the design of feeders, which can be verified by using Flow Plus later. It shows temperature profiles across the layout to check hottest regions. For running a simulation, the user is required to select a pouring point and input the desired fill time value for the given casting layout. Flow Plus generates result of coupled simulation of mold filling and casting solidification. This module helps to understand the filling and solidification related defects. Color map. It is given as per the temperature range. Media player. With the help of media player, the user can download the video as well. Filling analysis. It gives visualization of mold cavity filling as well as change in metal temperature during filling itself due to heat drop. It helps to understand flow sequence in cavity to validate the gating system design. Filling time of this given methoding layout is 12.06 seconds and solidification time is 11.96 minutes. Liquid fraction analysis gives an idea about portions of the casting which are still partially liquid at a particular instant of time during solidification. It helps to identify the hot spots and assessing the pattern of feeding inside the casting. Isolated liquid regions have the chances of shrinkage porosity. To map the result of liquid fraction, we need to check the result of solidification and solidification time. Solidification result shows the temperature profile at the end of solidification. It helps to find out the temperature values at the isolated liquid locations. The high temperature regions in casting would lead to formation of hotspots and results in formation of shrinkage porosity. This would indicate the lack of directional solidification in the casting. The user can estimate mold and core temperature values at any specific section. Solidification time result helps in understanding the relative cooling rate. Here we can see that the liquid isolation region is solidifying later as compared to the surrounding region. Hence the chances of shrinkage formation at that location are more. In this region, we can see that the feeder is going to be solidified later compared to the connected region. Hence, the directional solidification has occurred at this region. Niyama analysis helps to analyze the shrinkage porosity. The Niyama value ranges decides the severity of shrinkage which will help user to take the right decision to get the right feeding and gating system. The low Niyama values at the probable defect location shows high probability of shrinkage at that location. Shrinkage porosity analysis helps to determine the macro and micro shrinkage locations and the volume of shrinkage porosity. Autocast works also helps us to predict the depression shrinkage locations. Shrinkage porosity volume in the given casting is 444.63 cubic millimeter. The user can also measure the shrinkage size of the specific location by using grid function. Air porosity analysis, it shows air escaping sequence. From the color map, the user can see 100% of the air fraction at the beginning. As the metal fills the mold cavity, the air fraction percentage will be reduced. This allows to predict possible locations of air entrapment by looking at air fraction at each time step during filling. At the end, the user can find isolated air pockets where the chances for blowholes is more. The user can generate the report in AutoCast Works. This report includes the detailed information about the given casting. The yield percentage of the casting is 76.7%. The total poured weight of the given casting layout is 42.15 kg. AutoCast works benefits in various ways. Early defect identification and design stage. Design, simulate, analyze, and optimize the methods design in single environment. Casting quality and yield optimization. Easy, quick and reliable casting development. Time savings by reduction in shop floor trials. Also a safe investment and value for money.